Welcome back to No BS TS episode 31. And in this one, we are going to take a look at how to use Jest in combination with our TypeScript project. Let's get right into it. Okay, so in the previous episode, we created a mylib project that had just some pretty simple functions in it, introduced myself and a nice cute Borg name generator. So now we want to write some tests around this because we want this to be a nice tested module that we're going to. So let's go over and have a look at TS Jest. This is an awesome project that makes it very, very easy to add Jest to your existing TS projects. Let's go into the docs and take a look at installation. So I'm going to use this yarn command right here to then go into our terminal. Paste that in there just like that. So this is gonna bring in all of our dependencies that we need. Let's go take a look through that. So we've got Jest, which is the testing library. We've got TypeScript, which you already had. We bring this TS Jest helper, which is gonna help us set up our project to work well with TypeScript and Jest together. And then the types for Jest, which obviously are needed in order to support uh, TypeScript. But why aren't they in the Jest project? I don't know. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is Create the config file, which is very easy. All you gotta do is just do yarn TS jest and then request it create the configuration for you. That's gonna create another local file called jest config JS. Easy peasy. Okay, so let's go and build out our first test. I'm gonna go and test this, introduce myself. So I'll go and create a new folder called underscore underscore tests, underscore underscore. And then within that, I'll create a new file called introduce myself.spec.ts. This is gonna have the specifications for our test. So the first thing I need to do is bring in introduce myself from the original source. And now I'm going to describe my test. And within that, I'm gonna create a test. It should introduce me and that takes a function and then within that I'm going to expect that introduce myself if I give it J H is going to output something that equals and I'm going to start with an empty string and so now let's run it and see what happens okay so we failed because we expected to get an empty string and what we got back was hello jh which is exactly what we expected so let's try it again and there we go it passes awesome sauce okay so to kind of button this up we can go and add on a test script and then just point it at jest but you know what? I don't want to stop there. I actually want to show you one of my favorite VS Code extensions, and that's Wallaby. So let's try this out. So this is a test runner. I think you're going to love this. OK, so I want to now go test that Borg function over here. So I'm going to create a new set of tests. All right, and we'll go in and bring in that Borg name from source and now I'm going to describe Borg name and say it should give me a Borg name and now let's fire up Wallaby so I'm going to do command shift P and say Wallaby select configuration and give it automatic configuration for this project. And then I'm going to start it. Oh, it's actually started already. So we can see over here, these little green squares basically means that that's running. So I want to call uh, Borg name equals and then Borg name or let's see my name, my Borg name. And I'm just going to look at it, see what I get. And isn't this cool? So check this out. It's telling me what the what the value of that variable is. So in this case, your Borg name is four of seven. So I'm going to go and extract all of that. I'm going to go and extract the, the numbers. So let's go and copy and paste this out. 
and I'm going to say, okay, so I want number one and number two to equal my name. And then I'm going to do a match, a regex match. And it's going to have, instead of this, it's going to have a slash D plus and a slash D plus in there. That's basically just a string of numbers. And that's going to be the end of the string. And this is going to be the beginning of the string. And let's see what we get out of here. So N1, check that out. It's currently at three and N2 is currently at six. And this is giving me different numbers every time because it's random. So what I can do is then I can put an expectation on this that the parse int of, let's see, so it's, I'm, okay, N2 is the number of members. So N1, which is me, is going to be less than or equal to N2. And we expect that to be truthy. And you can see all along the line here, I've been uh, green across the board, but I can make this to be falsy. And now it's telling me that I received true, but, and this test is now failing. And it does this all the time for you. I've actually gone and built out a lot of code in using Wallaby and not saved any of it and ended up like running yarn test and that runs just and it's like, oh wait, a lot of this stuff is failing and then realizing, wait, I need to save all because the entire time I've been working just in unsaved files because that's how cool Wallaby is. It's just constantly running these tests for you and you just get tremendous amounts of confidence in your code this way. So let's go and fix this up to be truthy save and now I can go over into my terminal and do yarn test. All right, and so it's giving me an issue about this uh, output here. Fair enough, so let's see. So I'm gonna go if out, so if out, then const and what equals that equals out, great. Cool, and now it's happy. Perfect, okay, so now I've got great running and passing, and we knew that, of course, because uh, Wallaby was telling us that that was gonna, the tests were gonna pass. Not my syntax, the VS Code was telling me my syntax was wrong, but the test, I, we knew we were gonna pass because Wallaby told us already. All right, so that's a quick look at how to bring Jest into your TypeScript project. If you have any questions, please put those in the comments. YouTube is really serious when it comes to comments and all your comments help grow this channel. Also, feel free to hit that subscribe button and click on that bell and you'll be notified the next time a new No BSTS video arrives.